I'm Summer. Let's talk reptiles. So I'm having a slow morning while I'm getting ready to go over to the shop and work on the space. And I was thinking, hey, let's do a quick video before I make my way over there. I've been kind of absent in this space because I've been mind-blowingly busy. I've said this before, some of you guys already know this, but I have a day job. I'm a professor, it is full-time and school started. Oh, and on top of that, I was a little sick last week, so I lost some time. Oh man. So I'm in catch up mode. I'm trying to get the space ready for a soft opening the last week of September with a grand opening happening the weekend after Tinley because we're going to Tinley. We're going to Tinley. Okay, enough of that. So this video, Let's talk reptiles. I want to touch on why herpetoculture for me, because I've been thinking about it. One of the things that I've been coming to terms with within myself lately, and not just lately, for like the last few years, is that I am neurodivergent. So I know for sure that I have ADHD, ADHD, and I grew up in a time where basically only boys had ADHD. And though I am non-binary, I don't identify as a boy or girl. I'm somewhere in the middle, some mystical, magical thing. In the middle of those two things, no one looked at me and said, oh, this kid has ADHD. They just said, this kid can't keep still. This kid talks too much. This kid is annoying. This kid should come in for detention every day for recess and sit in this room with me. I had a teacher literally do that to me. She got so frustrated with me that she was like, Summer, you know what? Rest of the school year, you're coming in my classroom for detention. And because I am defiant, that is also a part of my personality. I went in for two recesses and then I didn't go again. And my friends said, Summer, you're gonna get in trouble. And I said, no, I'm not. I was like, she doesn't wanna sit in her classroom for the entire recess with me any more than I wanna sit in there with her. I have a feeling that she isn't gonna do anything. I called her bluff and it was a bluff. But anyway, I'm neurodivergent. And one of the things that I am realizing is my love for reptiles really parallels that in a, in a lot of different ways. And one of those things is that I really prefer to be alone than to be with other humans. Now, I know that may seem sound, that may seem sound. <laughs> that may sound strange because I do have a really bubbly, bubbling personality. I like love joy and I try to find joy in my life as in as many places as I can. And I try to share that joy with other people. But as a baseline, I prefer to be alone. I love when I'm alone. I love when no one else is there. I love the silence of me and just my brain in a space. I love it. And my reptiles wanna be left alone too. <laughs> and so I identify with that. I identify with an animal that would rather be alone than with other animals of its own kind. And lately I've really been getting into species that are communal because there's just something about that that I also identify with. And when I thought about it deeper, it's that like, I love being alone, but there are a select few people that really make my heart sing and I like being around them and I like hanging out with them and I like spending time with them and that list of people for me is very very small it really is shout out to the people that I like hanging out with and that like hanging out with me you know who you are my friends and so like I've been really getting into communal species and one of those, the giant butterfly agama, the Leolepis gutata, the scientific name, I'm pretty sure I said that right. They're so cool, but they're communal species and they do better with other Leolepis gutatas. And like, I really think that's cool. I really, really do. And like, as I'm like buying animals to stock the store, it's crazy. Like buying animals for the store. I've been thinking a lot about that. Like for instance, like 
with say like toke geckos like they may you put them together for a pairing and they may like each other they may not like each other and like if they do like each other they're gonna like like each other for like lifelong breeding i could be wrong about that um that's my understanding from my research and i think that's cool because i'm a lot like that like if i like a person i'm gonna like you forever like my best friend Jaden, he's my dude and i knew he would be my dude from the first day that i saw him and I'm gonna like him forever because he's my best friend. I love you, Jaden. But anyway, that's a part of how I feel about reptiles. It's that like I can identify with them like in all my neurodivergence. Like I prefer to not be with people and reptiles prefer to not be with other reptiles. It's like we're kindred spirits. All right, I'm out of here. Bye.